very much, President. Uh, this resolution does two things. It repeats our decade-long criticism of the US-led uh, extraordinary rendition program of kidnapping, secret and illegal imprisonment and torture, and European countries' complicity in that program. It was, in fact, ten years ago last month that I organised the first hearing in the European Parliament on Guantanamo, plus à change. I'll come back to the defective legal thinking which underpinned the wrong path that the US and their European allies took. But I just uh, for a moment want to focus on the second thing the resolution does, which is to demand accountability at the national level, including in my country, the UK, and for the EU institutions, the Commission and Council, to assist in that process by monitoring and supporting national accountability exercises. No minister, if I may say to the Lithuanian presidency, this does not fall outside the remit of the EU or the Council. Why else do we have human rights clauses in EU treaties or the Charter? What is the point of declarations that uh, counter-terrorism operations must respect human rights and humanitarian law when you will not follow up nationally or at European level on a huge body of evidence? And I think, you know, it is almost time to, to, to drop the alleged because there's so much evidence um, that these laws have been breached, our own and international laws. Getting back to the international legal framework, the fact is that the US has tried to subvert with its war on terror uh, the, these long-standing um, long international no norms. The terminology has shifted just to war uh, under President Obama from war on terror, but the fact is that the US still asserts an exclusive right to define the war and to make up its rules. It's under the global war paradigm that the US last weekend snatched Abu Anas al Libi off the streets of Tripoli. It's under the same pretext that drone strikes are used for so-called targeted killings and indeed that Guantanamo is still open with people who have never been charged, let alone tried. Even if EU institutions will not help call member states to account for torture and disappearances, then they should take the lead in asserting the true nature and proper application of international law. As Vice Chair of the Parliament's US delegation, I want the best for America. When your best friend goes off the rails, you try to pull them back on, not push them further off. MEPs are trying to do that. The Commission and Council are not.